unfortunately, you can still hear the pirates saying, screaming at each other above. It's kind of annoying. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. With your horse, which is not necessarily the stealthiest thing, <laughs> you're going to have to sneak into their base camp and not be seen Fact. to get their treasure map. How do you plan to sneak in? Uh, I'm just going to ride my horse while singing or while uh, humming the Pink Panther song. That checks out. <laughs> okay, what's he roll for that? I got to know. Okay, so he's prepared and. Yeah, I'm going to say roll the 3D6 for that. He's the expert at this. He's prepared and. Oh, they all. Five, three, and three. And what was your number? Two. All right. Well, clearly you've done infiltration before. You sneak in. <laughs> He's the soldier. Humming the song. He definitely infiltrated. On your horse, and no one notices you sneaking in. Not the Saiyans fighting overhead. Not their pirate chef getting the next meal ready. And not the drunk guys sitting next to the map. You we live. We we along and the drunk guy just ignores you. He starts humming along. In fact, <laughs> no idea how the how the song got in his head. He's just like doing it. <laughs> you pick up the map and run and take their ship. Now you've got oh, to dig no. up the treasure. Because you know the pirates don't keep their treasure there. You know, the fact that we have a job is making more and more sense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you do now, Blaine? Mm. Since you got that map. Well, I got the map. I go to where it says the X marks a spot. Make me a technology check on a 2D6. You got the map and the ship. Five and a four. Oh, that's not the good. No. Oh, shit. While you're trying to figure out which way is up on the map, you, oh, you've shit. been, unfortunately, you're not so good at piloting a. You're not so good at piloting this boat, and with drift and everything, you've been going in circles for about an hour now, and you're so starting to look at the map, trying to figure out which way is up. Great with you infiltration. You realize the tentacles of the mighty Kraken are reaching up to eat you. Am I still humming the song? Yes. <laughs> the important things. So what do you do? So now that the now that the waters around you are turning black and the tentacles of the Kraken are coming up, what do you do on your stolen ship? Yep. What do you What do you do? Mm, does this thing have a warp core? It's a ship. It's like a pirate a, a, ship. Like a boat. Oh. Hmm. I start to fire my cannons at the Kraken. All right. Roll another 2d6 technology check. Okay, you yeah, you, yeah, you roll that. <laughs> four three to three. four. What's your number? Oh, fuck. That's, <laughs> that's a crit fail. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> my, my number's a two. Blows up in his face. You, you set off all the cannons. Cannonballs go every which way, but hitting the Kraken. Sounds about right. The Kraken starts pulling your ship apart and shrieking. You think as you hear it shrieking that it's also humming the Pink Panther song. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't hurry, you're not if you don't hurry, you might just go down with Baby Jones. Well isn't isn't uh, isn't Monster's character with him? Yeah. No. Oh, wait. You guys, are you? I told to have you back. I don't know. I don't know where you are anymore. Are you? I think Monster's character went with him. Am I wrong, Monster? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, no, I told you I was. I, that was my job was to pilot. Oh, that's oh, right. That's why. Well, Monster. Now that you, now that you're sick of letting the soldier pretend to pilot. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I, no, no, no. I know what happened. Unfortunately, as you ran out of the out of the base camp, you swiped some grog and got totally smashed. You know that explains it. So now that the grog happening. is starting to wear, wake off, wear off, you realize you're in the middle of a fucking kraken attack. What do you do? I, I yell at him. You know, help me with these freaking cannons. Is there another set of cannons? Now, if only he said, can you help me with these freaking tentacles, you would have said, man, I've heard that before. (laughs) Ah, that reminds me of the captain. (laughs) (laughs) Is there there another another set of cannons? There are cannons everywhere. All the cannons, but there is a cutlass near the map table you've been sleeping next to. There you go. You were drooling on the map, by the way. <laughs> Can I exit and start hacking at some of the... Yes. All right, I'd like to exit and start hacking at the first tentacle I see. Reminds me all of the right, with all of your fury, you leap in and attempt to go ham on these tentacles. I feel like our roles are switched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, roll your two, roll your three d six. It turns out he has in fact helped piss you. Not only are you pissed off with the situation, and you have a sword, six six and four. But your friend has helped make you upset. <laughs> What's your number? His number is three. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Feelings roll high. Upset that once again your friend has made a mess while you're out drunk. This happens more often than you'd think. <laughs> you grab the cutlass, jump down the deck, and begin chopping entire tentacles off one at a time. The whole time screaming at how much you're sick of your friend doing this while you're out drunk. <laughs> I'm sick of these motherfucking tentacles on this motherfucking pirate. <laughs> <laughs> last time you last time you passed out drunk and you let and you left him in charge, you woke up in a space prison. That that checks out. Yeah. Yeah. Because one we... by one, you chop off each tentacle in a single swipe of unbridled fury. Good news! By driving off. The Kraken, you've attracted the attention of the Super Saiyan. You don't have any treasure, but they like tough opponents, and they've now watched you chop off all those tentacles <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> Two Super Saiyan pirates land on the desk, land on the ship's deck, superhero style, you know, funk, and they see you as a worthy opponent. They start approaching you. Uh, what it looks like, guys, I meant to hug it. <laughs> Oh, that's going to go over great. <laughs> they start cracking their knuckles. Can we just uh, hug about this, guys? No need to get physical. How are you going to convince them there's no need to get physical? Osman, take your pants off. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I, yeah, uh, I, I hand him a, or I, I go to try to hand him a, a mug of grog. These are aliens that you want to fuck. I guess getting him drunk would work. Yeah, see? Exactly. Oh my god, okay. (laughs) We're going, we're so going back to space prison after this mission. Okay, so you've got a plan, you've got the tools, and unfortunately with your experience of fucking alien races, you are the expert at this. (laughs) You you challenge them to prove that they're stronger than you by By drinking, by out-drinking you. By not making noises, anally. Hmm. Roll your 3d6 to prove that your fortitude is better than their Super Saiyan fortitude, and even the best mighty w- flying space warrior can get piss fucking drunk. All right, Blade. Is this, is this rolling for feelings? Yes. Six, oh, fuck! Six and two ones. You and the Saiyan drink and drink and drink and drink until you both pass out at the same time. 